Hi, my name's Bonnie and here we are for Southwest Movement TV at the Music Box, ready for Revolution. We're waiting for the ravers right now. We have the main promoter right by my side, Jacoby, come here. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. You looking forward to tonight? Yeah, always, definitely, really looking forward to it. How much effort and heart and soul have you put in tonight? Uh, like effort, 200%, <laughs> heart and soul, everything. Yeah, it's, um, a lot of work goes into promoting a night and keeping it going. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, we get the numbers today. Just remind us, who are the headliners of the night? Okay, we've got Scott Brown and Wizkid, Watsy, Scatty, uh, Technical Difficulties, Miss Special K, Freeman, um, and then loads of others as well. Like Nemesis, Shirts and Offside? Yeah, and myself. Of course. You're going with MC Wizkid, I believe. Yes, I am, yeah. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, of course, yeah, definitely. It's, um, it's going to be a big set. Have you ever DJed with MC Wizkid by your side? I think I have, yeah, a couple of years ago. Okay, so how much are you looking forward to it tonight? What, the night or my set? Your set with Wizkid. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, I've got loads of new stuff, um, a few classics. Just, yeah, really looking forward to it. Good, good. How many ravers are you expecting tonight? I think anything above sort of 180, 200 would be a success. Um, yeah, anything above that, really. Brilliant. Now tell the ravers how many years you've been doing Revolution and the different venues you've been at and what venue was your best. Wow, okay. Yeah, so this is Revolution's sixth, birth sixth birthday. Um, so we've gone six years into our seventh year. Um, four or five different clubs. We've done uh, the odd tour night in Bournemouth as well with Core a couple of years ago. Um, and hopefully next year we'll, there'll be there'll be more of that on, on the tour side of things as well. Um, best club, in all honesty, I'd probably say for atmosphere it was here. Um, the music box, although it's a small club, it is banging. It's really really good. Uh, second to that is the chapel, uh, which we're still going to be using next year. Um, again, that's that's a much bigger club, but it's it's also a really really good club as well. So yeah, they're the best too. I can't really. Can't really say which one's better than the other. They're, they're both pretty spot on. So, yeah, good venues. Brilliant, thank you. How do you feel working with Paul Enzo, who's knowing that he ran such an amazing club back in the day? Yeah, I mean, Paul obviously used to run Enzo's up at High Post. Um, he's, he's just easy, so easy to work with. He, he knows exactly how to run a nightclub. Um, not just that, he, he's, it's very, he makes it very raver friendly as well. Um, so, at times, some clubs I've been to and used can seem a little uh, commercial orientated whereas Paul makes it very friendly for the ravers and everyone and everyone who's coming down from the rave scene he knows exactly kind of what to do sound systems always pucker um, the kit's always good I, I honestly can't complain yeah he's, he's top notch so you say he's good in the scene yeah he's brilliant yeah really good to work with so there you go guys anybody out there in the hardcore scene that wants to go on tour tap up Paul Enzo's you know the score Thank you very much, Jack. Really appreciate it. And I hope you have a bloody banging night. Cheers. We'll see you later on. Hi, I'm Bonnie Wilkins-Small, and here we are with Chris Freeman. How you doing, guys? You cool? We're all good here. How are you, Miss Special K? Very well, thank you. Looking forward to the set tonight. Good, good. We're down at the Music Box in Salisbury at Revolution. It's their sixth birthday. Now, how happy are you, MC Freeman, to be MCing at a sixth birthday bash of Revolution? Really, really happy. It's going to be a good night tonight. Big up Jacoby. I mean, six years. They've been smashing it in Salisbury from the very start. They started off in Chapel. They're doing the Music Box tonight, and I'm really looking forward to the set. It's going to be wicked. Brilliant. Karen, how much are you looking forward to doing your set for Revolution's sixth birthday bash? I can't wait. It's the first time I've been here now in probably a couple of years, so really excited to be playing my set. Got uh, some fresh tunes that I've done recently to be putting in as well. So, yeah, it should be good fun. Always a good crowd. Brilliant. And recently, you two got engaged, didn't you? We did indeed, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and a massive congratulations to these two. Oh, thank you. you. 
you can't go wrong with an engagement in the hardcore scene. It doesn't it, mean we're going to get married, mind. <laughs> Only you after the moment. It doesn't matter. What, we don't mean we're actually going to get married. Do you know what I mean? Well, I should hope you do because surely you'd have your stag night at a rave. Yeah, definitely. No, we are going to get married. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's one of them things in our lives that has to be done. So, yeah, fucking right. Have some of that. Do you know what I mean? Now as well. Got a new house now as well we've just brought. So, yeah, a bit of a project. Lots going on. Exciting times. You have been taking time out of the scene recently to do your house up, but we know there's a massive, massive event coming up that is totally hardcore by your head honcho yourself, Miss Special K, and Adrenaline Stompers, head honcho himself, Chris Freeman. What can we expect from totally hardcore versus Adrenaline Stompers? I didn't even know there was an event going on. <laughs> is there an event going on? Is that what, in July? I don't know. In July? July, yes. What, All right, you don't know about our 12-hour rave that we're having at Club Ice in Westbury? Oh, my days, it's going to go on. Right, listen up. 31st of July, um, Adrenaline Stompers take on Totally Hardcore. For the first time ever. For the first time ever in history. It's going down. Club Ice Nightclub Westbury. We're going to go. We're going all in. Um, headline set, Hixie, Sharky, back-to-back -back Dougal with the number one WizKid. Um, exclusive sets from Robbie Long. With a 60 uh, vinyl giveaway from Robbie Long as well. So get that in there, good shout. Um, Sharky's getting on the mic for us. Um, Claude Hopper's coming back four years. She's been out of the game. She's back, back to back with Special K. Woohoo! Can't wait. THC, we're going in heavy, literally. It's going to be a massive night. Uh, Storm, Wizkid, Squaddy. Lively. Squaddy's doing an exclusive Twister set. Casper's um, coming back. Scatty's going to go in. I've already said Scatty. Four arenas. Um, <laughs> and literally, it's just going to be off the chain. It's, it's really going to be big. We've also got a, a hard dance arena, a Gabber arena. So we've got the likes of Scorpio, the criminal... Um, sick enough, um and loads of others so yeah we've got loads of diversity with the old school the hardcore and the hard dance and gabba so yeah it should be good um, and who is the bang hard room run by so, oh, so, so. oh it's our special friend Woolly it is indeed Stephen Woolly you legend you and MCO'd and MCO'd indeed. Stephen Woolley always puts on a good bang hard room for all you Gabba lovers out there. It's not just one genre, we are covering the whole genre for you. You cannot miss out on Totally Hardcore versus Adrenaline Stompers. Come to the jungle guys, you know you want to dance with us in the jungle. It's got to be done. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Totally Hardcore's been smashing it for 10 years. Adrenaline Stompers, we've been pumping it, just like I said a week ago. We've been doing it for four years. Uh, we're coming together for the first time. Listen, we're doing it for the Ravers. We're, we're all coming together. I know Hardcore events, are, you know, they're doing big things in here. There's a lot of events going on around the southwest, up north. We're all doing our thing. We're bringing the scene together. But this event, we showcase southwest movement as one. Okay, two brands coming together, Totally Hardcore and Stompers. If you want a good night out on the 31st, on the bank holiday weekend, all right, on the Friday night, it's going on at Club Ice Westbury, 12 hours, after party as well, so you ain't got to stop, all right, we're going to fucking have it heavy. We're going to have it proper. In fact, we're going to have it Southwest Movement styley. Adrenaline Stomp is totally hardcore, 31st of July, Club Ice Night Club Westbury. It's going down! <laughs> You know the score if you are hardcore. Southwest Movement is Adrenaline Stompers. Revolution, where we are right now, Freeman and Karen are both headlining tonight. Also, now that's what I call hard hardcore. What other events are on Southwest Movement? Hardcore Resurrection as well. And then we also try and include all the events in the rest of the Southwest as well. So there's loads and loads of events on board. So you know the score, guys. Southwest are doing it for the Ravers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Big up respect. Big up Bonnie, all the Southwest Movement TV crew. Big up to you. Thank you. And here we are outside the music with DJ Skin Dog. How are you tonight? I'm very good, Bonnie. You? I'm brilliant. What brings you to Revolution in Salisbury? Basically, just the vibes, supporting the hardcore scene, supporting all the people that are pretty close to us, Adrenaline Stompers, Revolution, Jacoby, puts on really good events. I've heard it, this is actually the first one I've been to, sorry Jacka. 
But uh, yeah, it's actually rammed in there. It's really hot as well. You need the aircon on. It is like a sweat box in there, but that's a good thing. So, Dan, being a DJ, what can we expect from you this year? And tell us where you're a resident DJ at. Uh, Miss Special K, thank you very much. I've just been made a resident at uh, Totally Hardcore. It's actually a dream for me, to be honest, because it's such an event I stand by and like feel really close to. Um, got a new track coming out with uh, Stu Infinity soon. Um, it's called The Sun. It's actually a favourite of mine on Bonkers 12, Dirty Dozen. I think Recon done the first one. <laughs> and um, yeah, what else was I going to say? <laughs> I do believe you've got an event next week. Yes, yeah. But, but, but as a main man, free man, I do believe you've got an event next weekend. Where is it and what is it? Tell us all about it. Basically, it's a multi-genre event. Uh, really, like I love my hardcore and that, but at the end of the day, I really want to see what gets people going. So I've decided to do a mixed genre event. We got the likes of me and Miss Special K back to back covering the hardcore. Um, basically, we got a bit of EDM there. We got some drum and bass. We got some hard house. Miss Meek and Messiah are covering that, and it's at Melcham in the Tavern on the 29th. So make sure you come here, yeah? support your local scene. What's the event called? Peachy Beats. Peachy Beats. You heard it from the very man, DJ Skin Dog. Look out for him. He's recently been signed to Totally Hardcore Records and he's recently brought out new tunes. Thank you very much. No and let me tell you, let, let me ask you, what is it that makes you a raver? A raver? Just the people, the love of the scene, you know. I've been into it since a teenager. Like, I couldn't really go to raves. I started off collecting like tape packs off my babysitter and looking at all of their flyers on the wall and it just gave me a bit of inspiration like hearing seeing names like Dougal and everything and I was really interested and the first rave I ever went to like just blew me away, blew me away. So yeah. I was... You are an old school happy hardcore lover, do I believe that? Yes, I was a little lover of happy hardcore. I used to love my Sharky, my Hixy, all that sort of stuff. From early days, Hell at Skelter, Dreamscape, beautiful, mate, beautiful. What is your favourite Happy Hardcore tune and have you heard it tonight yet? Actually, yeah, one of my favourites actually is actually Toy Town. It just gets everyone going, you know what I mean? Like, as soon as you hear that track drop, the crowd just like interacts with it and it's just like, it's just happy. It actually brings that, that vibe that Hardcore brings. It's just happy Hardcore, isn't it? <laughs> And here we are outside with Scott Skater Stevens. Now he's an up and coming DJ and he's recently been in the studio, I do believe. Yeah, uh, I've, been work I've done uh, originally two power stomp tracks with Rico. Uh, did uh, This Is Spire and Let's Dance with him. Uh, then I went into sort of like trying to learn a bit more about production, so I pushed out with Jekyll, uh, was on Future World, a uh, long time friend as well as a uh, producer. And yeah, Made Cool Kids, uh, it's been signed to Future of Hardcore, uh, obviously under Offside. Uh, the new one just about to come out should be Tuesday finished off a uh, weekend junkie featuring MC Leggett as well so yeah it's uh, kind of moving quite well to be fair you know four, four tracks under the belt already um, more kind of uh, working on other engineers I suppose rather than working under myself but it's my ideas put across to them and then they make them work and then I get like the learning process out of it I suppose so yeah it's good it's going really well I'm enjoying it. Brilliant. And where are you from, Scott? Tell the ravers where you're from. Ah, uh, from the great Portsmouth city. Um, yeah, live and die Portsmouth. Uh, but it's a good thing about raving. You kind of uh, you go the nationwide, don't you, really? Um, but you know, for Portsmouth, it's quite a good little city. And yeah, the raving in it is pretty good. We're six sites like, under Fat Steve and Dave Castellano, and you know their Rusty Records and the rest of it. But uh, yeah, just sort of like. Being part of Portsmouth, it's quite patriotic. We're quite a patriotic little city, and uh, we're quite proud of ourselves, I suppose, in what we do. So it's always good for you. Yeah, fair enough. What brings you to Revolution in Salisbury tonight? Oh wow, that's a good question actually. Um, between me and Tara, my girlfriend, love you, babe. But <laughs> um, it's a case of like we see lineups, we see sort of like we know when DJs come out with MCs, MCs come out with DJs, we see the progression throughout the night, like I'm quite passionate about music so I, I look at something and then I take value from it and seeing what I suppose what it can give to me 
you know, in a sense, I'm selfish with my music. I, I like what I like. Um, but then I suppose I'm quite open-minded to other people and other genres and that. But with Revolution, it is a case of, it's just a well-established event. You know, it's a great little venue. It feels like the barn of Portsmouth, but up in Salisbury. And line-up is just incredible. You know, we, we, we come to the last one and we, we knew that it was me. Revolution groupies, if you like, do you know what I mean? Like we we, we knew it. We knew it was gonna sort of like be down here regularly. Um, second event of being down there, you know, it's a good turnout. Seeing those people also brought up a bit of a crowd from Portsmouth. We've made a bit of a sort of a stamp for Revolution from out out, out of towners, if you like, you know. And uh, yeah, so got a good crowd here tonight. And Revolution is an amazing event. You know what Jacker does with his lineups. You know his rapport with all the. DJ, TMCs, and also the ravers, you know, he listens to people and that, and take a lot of value from that, you know. The guys at the top, you know, they probably don't have as much time as what Jacker does to kind of like get on with the ravers sort of thing and that, but I've been that half hour chat with the bloke, do you know what I mean? And he took the time to speak to me, so you get like real, like a uh, friendly, good vibe sort of value from this event, do you know what I mean? It, you, you can come here and just smile, and that's what Hardcore's about to me, do you know what I mean? It's all about smiling, all about the happy vibes and feeling good and the atmosphere and the good music and that and he provides all that. Like 10 out of 10, without a doubt. Oh my God, Scott, you can fucking talk, can't you? Excuse my language, I do apologise. <laughs> I thought I could talk, but this boy is talking. So, you're an upper comer. What do you think the hardcore scene needs right now? Do you know what? Um, I, I, I look into it, I look to like sort of up north of the GTYM label, South East maybe like you guys, and then the South Coast guys, like, I think that Hardcore's opened up so many doors for everybody, even the likes of myself, you, you go back about five, ten years ago, people like me, it was almost impossible to get into the scene, yeah. you had to either, either know a good person, yeah. or be that amazing that you was just recognised straight away. Now it's opened up so many doors, in a sense it's commercialised and, and becoming, but it's a great, great style of music, great genre of music, you know, so it, I think that hardcore is just constantly growing. For the past like two, three years, you've just seen it come on leaps and bounds, massive, massive D, and it's just progressing even further, you know. Do you think that's because all of the up and comers at the moment have got pure passion for the music and pure passion for the scene and pure passion for their ravers. Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of people ask me, like, oh, what, why do you want to be an up-and-comer? Why do you want to try and push yourself into it? And it is a passion. You know, you hear the boys at the top going, oh, if it's all about money, then go fuck yourself, basically. Do you know what I mean? They, it, it's a catch-22 situation. At the moment, it's all about the passion. If I become established and I make a good name for myself, then the cost will obviously get a bit too much, so that's when the money will start to be made. But it is about the passion. The thing with hardcore is that you get passionate people. It's a, an underground style of music. It's about passion, love, and as your cliche saying goes, it's about unity, really. Peace, love, unity, and respect. 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 You know. Thank you very much, Scott. No, and I hope anybody out there in the Southwest, if you need a new up and comer, Scott is your man. Or DJ Skoda, as it's known. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>